Hey guys, Lucas Jeffries, Jeffries Property Group, and today we're gonna to address one of the most common questions that I get asked as a real estate agent, and that is, which direction is the market heading? Here's my answer. So obviously, one of the biggest factors in the Australian property market over the past 12 months has been interest rates. After the COVID period and a narrative from the Reserve Bank of Australia saying that they wouldn't be raising interest rates for quite some time, in May of 2022, they began a 10-month cycle where they consecutively raised rates. And this was initially a shock to the market. It caused buyers to pull back and sit on their hands. We saw a momentary pause to the cash rate in April of 2023, followed by another two increases in May and June. Now, I would sound a lot more intelligent to you if I cherry-picked some statistics from the internet like a lot of people do, and I made that the basis of my argument as to if the market's going up or the market's going down. But in reality, we simply do not know. The banks, the financial institutions, the guys that have access to the best data and the best analysts in Australia consistently get their predictions wrong. The way I like to think about the property market is if we were to look back 20, 30, 40 years ago, house prices have only gone in one direction and that's up. So if you're trying to time the market short term, really you've got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. You might sound intelligent or vice versa, the market might go against you. But if you're playing the real estate game with a long-term vision, you're buying into areas for the right reasons, whether it be lifestyle or you're referencing capital growth rates from 10, 15, 20 years, longer term timeframes, I personally think that's a far safer game to play than which direction is the market going to go in next month or over the next quarter. There's a difference between investing in property and speculating on property. And I think the property investors are the ones who consistently make great returns, whereas the speculators are often the ones that run the risk of making the wrong decision. So to give you a real-time example of property buying or investing long-term as a avenue versus property speculation, I was dealing with buyers three or four months ago when interest rates were still rising and all the logic pointed obviously to the market continuing to slow down. Over the last two months, as we've seen the pause and then the extra interest rate rise, we've actually seen a resurgence in buyer activity to the market, which is completely counterintuitive to the logic of an interest rate rising environment. So the buyers who were waiting and sitting on their hands three months ago are actually potentially paying more in today's market because they're trying to time the market short term. The guys who just simply bought with the long-term vision are in fact better off. But the one thing that I do is I follow the money. I look at where the guys who are spending large amounts of money on residential property are investing it. And the reality is there's about to be some really strong results in the Noosa property market. So that gives me confidence because the buyers that are investing large sums of money in the residential market in Noosa see the same things that we do. And that is that it's a great market over the long term and that it's one of the best lifestyle locations in Australia, if not the world. So which direction is the market heading in? Short term, the simple answer is we don't know. But over the long term, we're confident that the Noosa market is going to be one of the best performing markets in Queensland. And as always, if you're buying and selling in the Noosa area, Jeffrey's Property Group would absolutely love to help you.